Let's talk about next piece of spatial infrastructure which is called AWS Wavelength Zone. Wavelength zone are very specific to use cases of 5G application. So if you are hosting 5G application, probably it is worth exploring how wavelength zone can be really helpful to you. 5G or fifth generation mobile network has becoming a, has becoming a new normal and now most of the devices are supporting it. You may be running applications related to drone delivery or a shopping application or maybe self-driving car. They can all leverage bandwidth and robustness and reliability of 5G network and AWS Wavelength Zone allows you to tap into the power of 5G mobile network. So what is a wavelength zone? Let's talk about it. It is a specialized infrastructure which is optimized for mobile edge computing application. This would make more sense. What we are referencing here is a edge computing application which in it is the edge of the network. So maybe this region is your core and you run services in AWS region but your users are not connecting directly. They are first connecting to a 5G network and from over that network they may be accessing your region based services. So we are trying to see how we could help these type of situation. So Wavelength Zone are AWS infrastructure sorry uh, deploy deployment that embed compute and storage services within telecommunication providers data center at the edge of 5G network. Don't worry about this if it is a very lengthy English statement. Let me explain that pictorially that what we mean by that. So consider the situation that you have a device or a software or application who is using 5G network or who is establishing all the connectivity over 5G. So obviously that is a mobile connection. It is a wireless connection which would be connecting to nearby mobile towers and through which they would be connecting to a communication service provider or sometimes we just call them mobile companies right so maybe vodafone maybe verizon maybe british telecom maybe uh, o2 like in uk those are communication service providers who are allowing you to leverage this 5g network so you first connect your let's say you have an application which sends data from a smart car to an AWS region and it first connects to communication service provider network we call them CSP and then it would be connecting to AWS region where we have hosted our compute or storage services on which this data has to be processed. So my communication service provider receives that data. That data has to be transferred to the region for processing to be done by compute and storage services. What probably they would be accessing it using will be common internet. So my request comes in from a mobile service provider uh, going over internet or maybe on a different type of network and then it reaches to region that would mean my latency would be made up of this. So if I'm not using wavelength zone I have to wait till my request gets from this place to AWS region gets processed and then delivered back to me so there is a latency involved in that. Wavelength zone explore possibility of hosting these compute services on communication service provider network also. When I say communication service provider, probably these are the companies who have already huge data center or the places where they are running their equipment and keeping their server and services available. What Wavelength Zone is expanding on, they leverage these communication service provider network infrastructure and host services in there. So consider, yes, they are hosting the mobile services and now with collaboration of AWS, they have capabilities to launch compute and storage services also. So I got my data from my smart car. I want to store it. I want to process it. I could do this here directly. I don't have to go for a lengthy path from this to the region and not that will obviously be saving me a lot of time. So because of this wavelength zone hosting my application compute and storage resources within a communication service provider network, I would have less latency to get started with. With wavelength zone, we are able to get that less latency for application. Again, very specific use case. If your applications are connecting to AWS services using 5G network, this can be really, really useful thing to take into consideration. This also is available in console. So you need to find out that which specific uh, 
zone you want to look into so let's say if i go to my northern virginia as a region again and i am selecting these zones here same thing where we had availability zone and local zone displayed we may find that there are wavelength zones too and this is being created with the help of Verizon. This is one service provider, AWS work for Northern Virginia. There may be many also, or there may be just one. It depends. And maybe they would have services like in say then Atlanta, Nashville, Boston, Chicago, Charlotte, Dallas, Detroit. So all these again, business hub, IT center, a uh, lot of population living in those areas and they may require that connectivity. So they have worked with these places, these service providers, Verizon, and they have hosted these application there. So depending on what service providers are prominently serving this that particular region like Vodafone, maybe uh, AT&T, maybe some other service provider in different countries, AWS would have worked with them and created these wavelength zone to get started with right let's go ahead and search for aws wavelength zone locations and service provider information so these are my local zones again depends on different parent region again there is a concept of parent region like in parent region we have wavelength zone which is cs central one then there is this is done by bell then in Verizon based wavelength zones, so who is so Verizon is supporting KDDI, which is in Tokyo, and then SK Telecom, which is in Seoul, Vodafone, which is in London based, and similarly. So additional information or maybe more service provider would show up and there would be more location in future to host these wavelength services. So very specific use cases, figure out if you can have 5G network, if you need 5G network and need that kind of connectivity, this can be a really useful uh, piece of infrastructure to lean upon and get your application hosted on a very reduced latency wavelength zone. So I hope you are clear. These are just piece of infrastructure. You would be still getting the same type of connectivity, like you would be expanding your VPC into this wavelength zone. You have to enable them first, and afterward, you would be able to create your VPC-based resources in these locations. So I'll see you into the next section, and we'll talk about another specialized infrastructure.